up, guys? Acidic Roots here. You hear that little slice of Donkey Kong Country music. Somehow they managed to get that in on this game. I don't know how they did it, but... Yeah, so this is part two of the Donkey Kong series. Donkey Kong Jr. So, first thing you may notice is you're not playing as Mario this time. He's right at the top of the screen, releasing traps to kind of stop Donkey Kong Jr. in his tracks, but the object is to actually free Donkey Kong this time. Uh, you know, Mario had taken precautions due to, due to the last adventure, due to the troubles he went through trying to rescue Pauline, and basically said, oh, I'm done with this, you know, Donkey Kong needs to be in captivity, and so, naturally, Donkey Kong Jr. has to save him. So, kind of is the thing, but, uh, this is one of the few games where Mario is actually a villain, and it's, you know, kind of contestable as to whether or not it's truly a villainous thing as much as more of just, you know, having a soul or something like that, you know, whether or not an animal kidnapping your girlfriend were that to ever happen, if you, you know, Nintendo basically trying to imply that you just need to let an animal be an animal, but, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of the thing. And later, in Donkey Kong 94 for the Game Boy, Donkey Kong Jr. is kind of a bad character in that game. So, he, I mean, he's a hero in this game, but he has some kind of villainous tendencies in that one. And at the end of Donkey Kong, they basically put him in a cage. Donkey, Donkey Kong Jr. in a cage. Uh... Donkey Kong, I forget what happens to him, but, you know, they just appear to be bad eggs, so. But yeah, for what this is, this is just a little arcade jaunt. I'm not actually sure if I could beat this game in the arcade. I might be able to pull off Donkey Kong, but I don't know about this one. This stage in particular is a pain in the arse, so it's just kind of, yeah. I just feel like I could probably do stages 1, 2, and 4, but this one's a little bit more of a trial. But yeah, we've still got 7 more minutes, so obviously this could have been over in like 3 and a half minutes had I not gotten the game over, but I'll let you know. So. But yeah, this game came out in 1982. It was about the same age as Donkey Kong is. I mean, it was really a smart move to release that so quickly, just because, you know, most arcade games never got a sequel. It was kind of surprising that that happened. The only other one that did was probably Pac-Man, and, you know, Miss Pac-Man didn't really add that much to the series. It just implied that Pac-Man had a wife. But, uh... Yeah, I don't remember, like, Galaga or Space Invaders or those type games, and they very well might have, but... Uh, yeah, this is stories from the 80s, of course. So this game did get a sequel, and it made its way, of course, to the Nintendo. And all four stages are intact, so they didn't slice the stage like they did in Donkey Kong. Which I'm glad for. I mean, obviously that would have probably been an extra 40 seconds of gameplay in my Donkey Kong la Let's Play from last month. But the only one left to do is just Donkey Kong 3. Which I was kind of saying, you know, it wouldn't have been too terrible to do that game, but I don't really know if I can beat that game. So, I may very well be able to, but I've never played it. I remember looking up information on it, but never actually have played the game. So. But this game is, or this stage is tricky just because there's a lot of different electric sparks going along. That was pretty lame right there, I'd say. <laughs> that one kind of sneak it up on you, that spark. You notice that. So. Yeah. I kind of wish Pauline would have made a cameo appearance in this, you know. <laughs> maybe slapped Mario or something. I don't know how they would have managed it, but it would have been nice to actually see her in the game. So. This is kind of the situation, but... 
<laughs> so I didn't realize I got two game overs, but yeah, I guess that's the reason why it's nine minutes. But. So, for fellows who are new to this game, climbing two vines at once will make you climb quicker, but going down vines, you're going to want to be on one to go by quicker. So, the art of the vine climbing is going to get you through this game a lot faster. So, I'm trying to think of what else, I mean, really, I, I kind of had it in me to do this, I mean, with me doing all these Donkey Kong games, I intended to do these in year three, but as time wore, I just had so much on my plate between trying to get Frenchie more involved and Cobalt more involved, and, uh, you know, Preston, Keith, those guys. Uh, you know, the whole damn thing was just trying to find room for some of the stuff. I mean, I, I did F-Zero back in March, and if I had somehow thought to do something more... I mean, the main problem with it was, was I just didn't have the RFU cord for the NES, so I had to find one, and I was, you know, I didn't really want to spend the money to do it, but... So I knew I had one lying around somewhere, though, so that was the thing, is I was going to get one off the internet, just because, really, there's only about one or two stores in town that would still have an RFU cord for the NES, and you got to understand that the NES came out in 85, so the only place that's going to have it, I don't even think pawn shops would have it, really. I mean, you're easily talking, like, uh... You're usually talking like this local game shops that sell used video games, which my town doesn't really have. I probably have two stores, and you know, it just didn't seem that much of a luxury to do it. So, GameStop, of course, isn't gonna have NES games anymore. I remember actually buying Super Bomberman 2 at a GameStop way back in like 2001 or so, but huh, that's a long time ago. That was back when. And there are only so many con video game machines out, so... But... Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you'd be hard-pressed to find PS2 games there now, or PS3, something like that. This whole damn thing, but... Yeah, so, obviously, just getting these keys... This is actually a pretty simple stage. I mean, the birds kind of have erratic patterns, but... As long as you can catch them in the act, it doesn't really, you know, you should be able to progress through the stage. And of course, using the two vine trick rather than just picking one up one at a time is better too. So. Alright, so, but really, Donkey Kong Jr. Ha doesn't really appear anymore. That's just kind of the thing there. He. Yeah, that was kind of a pain in the rear. But yeah, so. Mario just falls to his doom, but I think in the arcade version, Donkey Kong slaps him away or something like that, but it is what it is. So we've beaten this game, and uh, subscribe for more fun, more arcade coming.